There it is. You'll have to swing around. Hit her into the wind. Our plane just stopped the enemy signal. Enemy signal? Is there a plane chasing him? Lookout says there's no enemy plane in sight, sir. Then there must be an enemy in Bracken's plane. Check up on that flyer and see if it's Bracken. What's up, Bracken? Got a little trouble. Got a prisoner back in the plane. Where you are. Take off that helmet. Colin. I know you're not the black ace. You're right. He's not the black ace. And you'll never find out who the black ace is. This is your finish. Shooting's too good for you, Cromwell. Cook is taking our men to the sheriff. Don't stand there. Get him off. Don't dispose of Cromwell yet. If Bracken fails to rescue our men, we'll use him to force the sheriff to release them. Don't worry. You won't be in jail over two weeks. Then they'll hang you. Hiding in those rocks. Did you get him? Yep. Knocked him clean off of that high rock. <laughs> <laughs> now I can tell the black case he doesn't have to worry whether Cromwell lives or not. Uh.
Pile into the car. We're hurrying back into the mine. the chief? He had some business at San Juan. Well, what about Cromwell? The chief left orders to let Cromwell alone until we hear from him, which won't be very long. Did the sheriff here, Martin? I've been looking all over for him. I ain't seen him all day. Hello, Miss Gray. Bill Cook's in the office. Wants to see your father right away. You know where Mr. Gray's room is. Oh, Dad. I hope nothing's happened to Fred. So do I, Miss Gray. But I think Fred can take care of himself. I hope you're right, Davis. If he's in any trouble, it's because he'll help us defend the dam against the mystery squadron. Come in. Where's Fred? Why didn't he come back with you? He's been captured with the Black Ace, and they're going to kill him. Bill Cook is here, Johnson. Alone? Yes. And the men got away from him. Where is Cook now? In Gray's room. They will try and find Cromwell. This would be a good chance for the Mystery Squadron to make another attack on the dam. They're holding Fred in the mine. I haven't any idea where it is, but I do know that planes can land near it. I was all over these hills while we were surveying for the dam, but I never ran across any such place. Bill, think. Isn't there some way? Wait. I just remembered something that might help us. Do you remember the day you hired Fred and me to guard the dam? Yes. When we were flying down to San Juan to meet you, we were up about 2,000 feet. According to the map, we must be near San Juan. Please drop the dam.
going on through. Don't let it fool you. I've heard of these bot hair bandits. We know now it was another plane shooting at us. That plane must have landed behind the smoke screen. Then the landing field for the mine must be near where you forced me down. It's in the canyon near Lookout Rock, on that road in back of the dam. I can take you there. Too dangerous a game for you, Darcy. I can find Lookout Rock all right. The rest is a question of luck. But you're in no condition to fight. A sprained ankle won't stop me from handling a gun. I'll be right with you. You three can't fight the mystery squadron. We'll phone to the dam for the men to meet us. Wait a minute. If we go there with a gang, they're sure to spot us. Our only chance of saving Fred is to sneak in somehow and free. Yes, you're right. I'll be with you in a moment. Station B, Collins standing by. Cook is heading toward our mine with Davis and Gray. They have all given us trouble. You know what to do with people who interfere with us. Yes, sir. Now that our men are free, I have no further use for Cromwell. can handle Cromwell. Let us send a reception committee to meet Cook. You're right. Peterson! Bill Cook's heading here in a car with Gray and Davis. Take the boys and stop them. They're going to rescue Cromwell, eh? Now, ain't that too bad. <laughs> Them. There's a car coming around the bend. Come on, get ready, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 